Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. Today is April 18th and Samsung just recently pushed off the latest software updates to the Galaxy S22 series. Now, if you own another Samsung Galaxy device such as the Note 20 or the Galaxy Z Fold 3, some of those have been pushed off with updates about three days ago. If you have a carrier-based Galaxy S22 phone, this update was pushed to you about three days ago as well. This one here is unlocked with the AT&T SIM card in. And if you live in Asia, you would have seen this update about uh, a week ago. Now, this one is fairly large for a different reason. Now, normally when you see updates, it's just small little updates. Um, or if you see a larger one, such as last month, which was on March 19th, uh, it was also fairly large at 1,258, but it was doing updates with the camera, with the CPU, GPU performance, with alternate game performance. A whole bunch of things went into this update. Now, this one is very important for vulnerability fixes and patches. So there's actually 88 vulnerability patches patches and fixes that happens with this large update here. 55 of these of these fixes are for Google applications or services and 33 of them go for the Samsung apps and services. So that is where this one gets fairly large. It also gives you that April 1st patch and this uh, update ends with AVCK. So if you have a Galaxy S22 phone, highly suggest going after this update here as it's not just a normal, uh, you know, biometrics update. It's not a normal camera update or GPU fix. It's a lot of stuff that's happening inside of the phone deep down, such as like the dot bin type of files. So when this phone does get turned back on, we will take a look at the Samsung home. We'll take a look at the camera, fingerprint and face recognition. We'll take a look at device care and the secure folder to see if there is any newer versions of those applications. And it's also at this point in the video that I like to state that if you guys are brand new here at the channel, Jimmy is promo. You appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. So now the update is done and complete. So let's just take a look at a few different services and applications from Samsung just to see if we do see any newer versions. So when it comes down into the Samsung home screen, originally it was 131033. Again, 131033, so this one has not had any changes there. So now let's head inside of the camera. Let's see if there's a newer version here. So once you tap on the camera, go to information. And so originally it was 1200150. This one's 1200162. So there is a newer version of the Samsung camera. Now let's take a look at all the biometrics. So this will be the fingerprint reader, the face recognition. So biometrics and security, uh, biometrics and security patch. So the fingerprint reader used to to be 6008, it's still 6008. For face recognition, it was 2115. This one's still 2115. Now, for device care, you just want to go to the very top. You want to go to about device care. So, this version here originally was 130031. Uh, 130031. So device care is the exact same as well. And then now for secure folder. So secure folder originally was 170166. This one is 170168. So it looks like that there is a slightly newer version of the uh, secure folder as well. Now, as you heard me state at the beginning of the video, there was 88 vulnerability fixes. If you guys are curious, you want to read just a little bit more about it, I'll place a link below the video inside the description. It's a really, really deep dive into, you know, the dot bins and all these very deep folders and services, something that you wouldn't really see on a surface level. Uh, and so that's why this one is a very important update. But I hope you guys have appreciated the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe, subscribe in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.